Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel SSC Selector. In this video, we'll see how to find out the area of this particular region where ABCD given as rectangle. E and F are midpoints of AB and CD respectively. Length of AB is 10, E is the midpoint, so 5, 5, F is the midpoint, so 5 each. So we have to find out this region. And we can calculate this within maybe 10 seconds. How? Let us check. First of all, we have to prove that this part is parallelogram and these two regions are same. The, this is a parallelogram because BE is parallel to DF and BE is equals to DF. So if the opposite sides are parallel as well as equal, then BEDF is a parallelogram. And by observation, of course, we will prove it later on, but by observation, we can say that these two parts are equal. We'll definitely prove this. So let us find out the area of this area of parallelogram is base into height. Base is five and height is six. So area of BEDF is 30 centimeter square. And as I told you, these two parts are same. So just half of that will be the area of green region. Half of 30, that is 15 centimeter square. So if we know directly that this part is a parallelogram and these two parts are equal, we require around 10 seconds just to calculate this 30 centimeter square and half of it is 15. So area of this part is 15 centimeter square. Now let us prove how these two parts are equal. The only thing is how these two parts are equal. So now let's check. We have just proved that these two lines are parallel. That is D is parallel to BF. Now, if I talk about this triangle, GH, we can name this. Triangle AGE and CHF are equal. Reason being this line AE is equals to CF. Angle A is equals to angle C. And angle F is equals to angle E because this, this angle is equal to this and corresponding angle and this angle equals to this. So this triangle is congruent to this triangle. So their areas will be equal. And similarly, we can prove that, first of all, let us write down this. AGE is equal to triangle CFH by angle side angle. And similarly, if I take this triangle AHB and triangle CDG, they are equal. Reason being AB is equal to CD and angle AC, angle HAB is equal to angle DCG and the second angle is angle CDG is equal to angle ABH. So this two angles and one side are equal. We can say directly ABH is congruent to triangle CDG by angle side angle. And if we subtract this two, we'll get the uh, value part this BEGH. So their areas are equal. Subtract this, this two. ABH triangle ABH minus triangle AGE is equal to triangle CDG minus triangle CHF. Subtracting this two will give BEGH, that is the green part, and DFHG. So, area of these two parts are equal. So I hope friends you like this video.
please like our videos and subscribe to our channel